Hello everyone, my name is Avni Sahu. Welcome to the next video. As in the previous video, we understood what plotting primitives mean. These are the basic components that is pixel which are used to generate a picture on 2D coordinate system. Also, we got to know about its types that is scan conversion, line and line segment. In this video, you will get to know more of its types that is about vectors and vector generation. Vectors these help us creating digital image through a sequence of command using mathematical statements and equations. Basically, these equations are translated into points, which form parts on the Cartesian plane. These points are scaled and help us creating lines, curves, polygons, 2D and 3D images. Now moving forward to the part as how these vectors are generated. That is vector graphics generation. These follow a simple method that is x and y axis are taken as the base reference for the definition of the points and various designs are drawn. Here are some types of vector generation. First, CRT that is cathode ray tube. Second, LED light emitting diode. Diode is a semiconductor device with two terminals that allows the flow of current only in one direction. And third, TFT, which is a thin film transistor. Transistor helps in regulating the current and voltage flow. A common point between these is that these all are output devices and usually are in displays, be it in desktop computers or TV screen. Now we will study CRT in brief. CRT, cathode ray tube. It is a vacuum tube in which images are produced when an electron beam strikes a phosphorescent surface. Cathode is a metallic electrode that is electrical conductor which is used to make contact with non-metallic part in a circuit. Through this current flows out in a polarized electrical device that is having positive and negative charges. Moving towards the CRT components and working starting with connector pins which is externally fitted outside the CRT then the electron gun which is the source of electrons that is electron beam that falls on the phosphorescent screen and helps in creating images now why phosphorescent because when the beam falls on the screen dot like representation is formed which is of high intensity at the start and then gradually decreases for more and more electrons to fall on the screen, a focusing system helps all the electrons to move towards the deflectors. The horizontal and vertical deflection plates decides where the electron ray should fall on the screen. As we come to an end, I hope you get a basic idea about vectors and vector generation. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.